Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Crusader Kings 2 Khan of Khans campaign. So our King of the South, Khan of the South, is an idiot. And uh, not only did he create Kiva, which broke free from him, um, he's now just also created the Khanate of Baluchistan. Great job, dude. So that means that yet again, you're going to lose more territory for no reason at all. You've weakened yourself twice now. I don't, I don't understand why they do that. Especially when... It's just, I just, I just don't get it. It's, it's like against the AIs. It doesn't help them in any way. They just shouldn't do it. All right, we're almost an adult, which means that we'll be able to do fun things. The Khan of the North has available for us only 8,000 troops. But only provide us with up to 12,000. The North's not actually that strong. Khan of the West owns some land up there, which is really weird. Khan of the West is also not providing us with very many men. Um, all together, though, we do have 40,000 if we just raised everything. I just, I like using individual vassals' armies when possible, because then you can release them individually and let them replenish individually, versus just raising everything, and then let, and then getting it all mixed together. Because that requires you to kind of unmix it, which is messy. So we're going to leave the Khan of the South's army alone for a bit, but the West and the North are available. So what we could do is just raise the North here here-ish, in the west here, and then use their armies against somebody. Also, Georgia, how many do you have? 1,600, that's nothing. Well, I say we use the west and the north against... Who? Hey, the north can be raised all the way up in there. So we get like 8,000 men available against this guy who's only got 3,000 defense. But he'll have more than that. Uh, there's wars. Our vassals have wars going on. This guy, Magyar. You've got very few troops. Yeah, let's attack you. Oh, you're actually underneath that king. I gotcha. Magyar. Okay. Altogether, he's got a little bit more. Bulgaria. About 10,000 men before they get the defensive bonuses. I'd say of, of, of everyone, this guy's probably going to be the best. Got a bunch of counts that he can't call to war. He can call in the Grand Prince of Volinia. So that guy would definitely join. I don't know why I'm really worried about the numbers. I just, I want the war to be easy and quick. So. Let's declare that war. We'll raise the north. We'll raise the west. Grab our leaders here. Got an inspiring leader in the center. We'll just cross this major river before they have a chance to meet up, hopefully. March 15th. No, actually, they're going to be there before we will. So we'd rather not cross that major river then. Okay, some more territories being converted. Get rid of that Sunni nonsense. Supply is perfectly acceptable. And you own one, two, three, four, five provinces. So we could go fight your army, which we probably should. Improved relations with a guy. I need to check to make sure that that still makes sense. It's the Khan of Georgia that we still need opinion with. And that is who we're trying to improve relations with. Good. Continue that good work, my friend. Alright, let's go ahead and fight this guy's army before we start trying to siege anything. Just to prevent him from doing anything annoying. How's the southern Khan? Bring me, bring me men. Bring me horses. You have 25,000. Good. Okay, we'll spread you guys out, spread you guys out. Actually, go you down to two. That one is cutting it really close. That one's not quite enough. Let's grab, uh, oh, can't really shrink that one. Can't shrink any of them, really. If we did split you in half, that is enough there. Barely. So we'll try. We'll try sieging them all. Actually, why don't we grab um, Ryazan and Bryansk, just so we have a few extra troops. 
over here. Where is uh, Periaslav and Kiev? Nothing from Periaslav. What's up with that? He's got a skilled tactician. We have a title that can be usurped. I'm not interested in your kingdom. I don't want to usurp it. You are my direct vassal, and you are the leader of a plot. Interesting. High Chief of Kiev. Well, ideally, you would be part of the King of the North, so I do want to get rid of your territory there. He is a socializer. Committed to being well liked, spends most spare time in the company of uh, in the company of others. That's a really cool thing. Extra diplomacy, I like it. So we have no reason to revoke title, but we can throw him in prison, and if he rebels, then we can revoke it. If he doesn't, then he'll die, which is just an easy murder. Um, really want him to rebel yet? Guess so we could park an army there. Let's do it after this war. So you're 1300, we've got 153 years left to do the achievement. So I think if I slow my gameplay down just a little bit and like try to be a little bit more cautious in my wars, I wonder why... I have become kind. Apparently I am a kind, gregarious fat boy. Bit arbitrary, don't care much for justice, but I'm kind and gregarious, so I'm really nice to people. I'm also brave, this is just pretty good modifiers actually. Um, our current guardian is a military man. Alright, something's been converted. Let's check see if there's uh, anything else we can work on. Our guy didn't actually convert the one he was working on, but no harm in moving him around a bit every six months. We still have this rebellion, and that definitely looks like a holy order. It's gotta be a holy order. What did you raise? That is the Magyars. No? No. No, we're only... Okay. We're hostile to the Magyars. They're not actually involved in our war. Seems fine. Good work. You secured the realm. Let's go work on the Khan of the North. What's he all upset about, anyway? Large feudal tax, raised levies. You know, large feudal tax. I had to do that, and we, we do need it. We need the money. But, it certainly does affect the way people think of us. We'll keep sieging, because we need the money. And also, before this war ends, let's start doing some ransoming. See if we can fill our coffers a bit. Eh, sure. Banish him. Get rid of that guy. I've said it before, and I'm going to keep saying it. There needs to be an auto... auto handle prisoners interface. Set certain standards for how you want them to be handled. And then go from there. And it shouldn't be one of those annoying event chains where, like, it pops up, like in, um... Uh, like in Elder Kings. The Elder Kings mod, the way they handled slavery, was like pop-ups and, and dial- I, those are just annoying as hell. What it should be, it's just like this, like just make this interface a little bit bigger, or maybe shrink this thing down a little bit. Like, why does it have to say prisoner in Mongolia for every single one? What is this- what is the purpose of this, really? Um, you know, like, shrink that title thing down. And then, add in a little spot here where you can say like, keep this guy in prison. Right? And then, maybe up toward the top, like automatic settings, so... Somebody gets imprisoned, you can check off a box that says, hey, I want to keep this guy here forever. Um, he's a political prisoner for reasons that are important, but everyone else... <laughs> these people don't matter. Like, who the hell is this woman? It's just some random woman. She doesn't need to be there. Poor woman. You're insignificant. This is true. Death, death, death. Lunch. You're insignificant. And again, the, the the fact that it doesn't update is like the most infuriating part.
It needs to be approved. Oh god, I still have a regent? Right out loud. Oh, okay, we do have them at 100%. You know what, I need the money, let's just finish the sieges. Once we break through those top holdings, it's just so juicy. And they're fairly quick. Extra six months to make quite a bit of money, I think, I'll, I think we'll do that. You know what I kind of want to do? I want to play in a in a situation. I want to. I'm going to do another achievement probably for my next run, but I want to play in a situation where we don't have access to an overpowered cast of spelly, and uh, I want to. I want to play in a way that's like I need to be able to strategically expand. I want to build holdings, and I want to want to do technology, and I just think that that'd be pretty fun. That could be pretty sweet. Uh, we decline your surrender. We decline to acquiesce to your willingness to no, no. Okay, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from... Uh, okay, Khan of the North. We are we have the ability to obligate him. Which is to remind him of his duties. The fact that he's just means that he will definitely say yes. He's not going to like us for it, but he will say yes. He has to. Thank you for reminding me of my duties. You're right. <laughs> Get the hell out. Stop factioning against me, you bastard. Okay, this one will assault. 10 to 1 ons. And these two we will allow to finish. I'm not going to siege that last barony unless it's got very small defense. 400 men. Yeah, let's pile a few more troops there. We'll assault it. And before we actually end the war, we should also try to ransom the prisoners. Since they become useless the second you end the war. That'd be another thing that'd be kind of nice. Like, maybe some way to deal with prisoners whose liege became... Like, if a liege... If a character stops having their former liege because the liege lost his titles, perhaps those prisoners should do something. I don't know what, but they, they shouldn't bother me anymore. Alright, sweet. Pure victory. Alright, that is very obviously part of the North. So, I know you're upset that I forced you out of the factions, and I know you're upset because I've raised troops, but guess what? It's all for a good reason. You, sir, are the proud owner, proud new owner of a brand new car! No, uh, a couple duchies, actually. It's come the west, that's not who we want, we want you. Here you go. You'll have that, and you'll have that. And I'm still holding on to these two for some who knows what reason. Yeah, really what I want is I want to secure this stuff and, like, not have annoying things. Let's build a city. Why not? It's worst things you could spend money on. Okay, uh, kind of the south has a full levy. A full levy of 28,000 men. India has nothing to do with the achievement, so we shouldn't attack that way. Not unless it makes the absolute most sense. Alright, Rum. I assume we still have a truce with you. Yes, we do. We're gonna have to attack this dynasty. I mean, eventually, we just we have to kill him. The only concern is that he's got 28,000 troops right now. Let's see. Do your vassals all really like you a ton already? Is that the thing? All right, his strongest vassal has only 10 opinion of him. So, the way to look at it is like, okay, if we gave him 75 more opinion for defending versus infidels, then all of a sudden this guy becomes his favorite person in the world. If this guy was already at 100, then our declaration wouldn't increase his strength at all. So I'd say it'd be a lot. It'd be a big deal. He'd gain a ton of levy. The Byzantine Empire, on the other hand, has 13,000 troops, and they have... Yep, their strongest guy doesn't like them either. But, we would have access to the west and the north and the Georgia and, and all the things. You, you appear to be in the midst of a war. <laughs> Let's attack you! Sure, why not? We'll attack this in this direction. I know. It has nothing to do with the achievement. I just want it. 
just want their land. 21k, 22k. We need to find a really high supply province to start them off in. Okay, I mean, it's going to have to be, like, way over here. Let's put the army roughly in half. Perfectly in half, in fact, nearly. And uh, we'll run part of it that way and part of it north. We'll also raise the army of Kiva, because that is down here. Is the army of Kiva already raised or something? Why Why is it... Uh, one of the south is there. Maybe I already raised them. Nope. What's going on, Khan of Kiva? Oh, you know what it might be? I just feel like I'm not able to raise Kiva. No, I can't. It's not letting me raise Kiva. Is Kiva... like a tribal leader or something? What's up with you, Kiva? These are two retinue. Hmm. I see no reason why Kiva should not provide us with troops, and yet I cannot raise their armies. Don't know what to tell you. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here. Next video, we will be turning 16, getting our, our act together, attacking into India, because, you know, that's just the way that makes the most sense to expand right now. It's the easiest conquest, although I really do want to beat this bastard. All right, cool. Well, let's take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.